he retired a command sergeant major for any of you familiar with the military. Yeah, and um, to this day, he hides his his awards, his medals. Um, I've never seen him. He's uh, won't ever talk about it either. But recently, I I bought him a Stella. I did because he's at the age of eighty. He's decided to write songs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm pretty excited about it. And I have to be careful what I tell him. I have to keep being careful what I say around him because he steals my ideas. <laughs> <laughs> or he'll act like he doesn't like something. Recently, played him this song I wrote. You know, and he kind of wrinkles his nose at it. Like, well, all right, you know, whatever. And then he sends me this new song. It was the same stuff that I showed him. And I was just like look, looking at him. And then recently he gave me his Command Sergeant Major pin, and uh, I, uh, I'm just so honored by that. I can't even tell you. I can't even ex begin to explain to you how beautiful it is to get to know my father while he's his age and I'm mine. Because when I was young, I knew it all, and I'm old enough to know absolutely nothing. <laughs> and um, but this is a tune that I wrote. This piece of jewelry that kept our family together. I'll let the song tell you about it. <laughs> when we were kids, we'd lay awake at night and listen to my mom and dad talk about money when times were tight. My mom would raise her voice, my dad wouldn't say a thing. He'd walk outside, turn on his workshop light, and he'd work on a ring. Well, my dad earned the soldier's medal and the Purple Heart in Vietnam. He learned how to make jewelry to ease his mind on the ship back home. The war left him changed, but he never said a thing. Every time he thought about it, he worked on a ring for my mother. He made a ring for my mother. He'd do most anything. A quiet man with few words spoken proved his love would not be broken. Out of a half dollar, my father gave my mom. As he worked one afternoon, he held this half dollar in his hands as he tapped the edges with a spoon. When I asked my dad if he was mad, he didn't say a thing, but it seemed to ease his troubled mind as he worked on a ring. Dad prays. When we close our eyes, you know that's when I think. My dad cries, and those words left unspoken, I've come to understand what's kept our family together. 